and welcome to the live launch of the all new Pegasus Grande GT75 Caravan Range. So here we are in the studio surrounded by four fabulous models from this exciting new addition to the Bailey Caravan portfolio. But it's worth noting there are two family friendly models that are due to be released early next year. But tonight it's all about four berths. Four berths, island beds, eight foot wide, ultimate in caravan in comfort. Now the eight foot wide um, comes from the Grande name. Now how long is the... Uh, Pegasus Range been offering eight foot wide caravan. Sure. Pegasus was the first eight foot range launched in 2009, but that was standard width product. But five years ago, it grew in size and became our first range in the eight foot wide body shell. So, with that in mind, let's cut to a very short VT so we can see it in its natural habitat. Now, it's great to see the Pegasus GT75 in its natural environment. And having towed one from Yorkshire down into Germany, let me tell you that the interior space alone gives it that really roomy feel. But when you're on the road, it doesn't feel much different to uh, a 7 foot 4 or 7 foot 6 caravan. They're big vans, no doubt, but they're still very, very light. Uh, and that means that they're accessible to a wide range of tow vehicles, which means they're equally at home as, as being used as a tourer as well as a sighted vehicle. And just a reminder that we are live, so feel free to put your comments in the comments section below and we will do our very best to answer them at the end of the show. Competition on its way, but before we do, here's a short VT highlighting some of the key features, the key exterior features of the exciting new range. Thanks guys, and welcome to the brand new Pegasus Grande GT75 range. And as you can see, it's a really handsome looking caravan. The existing GRP skin body shell with, with the gray sidewalls has been enhanced by a really smart looking new anniversary graphics package. And also with an investment as good looking as this, you want to make sure you look after it. So it has the Alco anti-sway hitch as well as the all important ATC. Right, so we're going to walk you around and show you all of the features on the new GT75 range. So we're going to start on the fun side. And talking of fun, things don't get any more fun than the TUV uh, individually balanced wheels. Again, another important safety feature included as standard. And behind that wheel, there's an Alco wheel lock receiver, which will help keep your caravan secure. Don't forget the lock is an optional extra. And talking of security, there's a new high security door here, which has several features to keep this safe. You really get an idea of how impressive the graphics are on this particular side of the caravan. On top of that, enhanced practicality, there's a full suite of external services. So behind Lee here, we have the exterior 230 volt socket and uh, aerial point. And then at the front there, we've got the gas carb cue point. Now back here on every uh, Pegasus GT75 model, each model has a through boot. Some are at the front, some are at the back. And on this Portofino, the through boot is here at the rear. Now, there's a locker door at either end and it stretches the full width of the caravan. So, I don't know, let's say for example you fancy skiing or snowboarding, you've got plenty of room for your holiday essentials. So, that was the fun side, now we're on to the, the serious side yeah. here and this is where all the services uh, live. Um, you've obviously got your, your Fetford toilet cassette access hatch here, gas locker over the uh, axle as much as possible to enhance stability. Then in terms of external services, uh, the external water connection point and the 230 inlet point. No smart aleck comments, please, about skipping ropes, <laughs> Mr. David. I wouldn't dare mention it. Uh, now on top, what you can't see, there's a 100 watt flexible solar panel, which minimizes the profile and helps uh, make this caravan even more aerodynamic. Anyway, Lee, I think that's more than enough from us. I think we're, we're spoiling the view of this magnificent graphic screen behind us. We better exit stage left. Yeah, I think you're right. Right, so now it's time for Simon's favorite part of the live launch, the competition. I think it's everybody's favourite part of the live launch of the competition. It's the standard format. We're going to give you three questions. Please give us the answers to the questions in the comments section below. The winners will be the first people to answer the questions correctly and we'll notify the winners by social media tomorrow. So here we go. We thought long and hard about these questions. 
and they're all Pegasus related. Mm -hmm. Okay. First question. In 2009, Pegasus was the first Bailey range to feature the Alitec construction system. In order to demonstrate the strength of this new construction system, we put the car on the roof of the caravan. Can you give me the make and model of the car? Now, if you get this correct, you will win. Oh, beautifully this, done. Beautifully uh, done. Try not to drop it. This Bailey goodie bundle, including the world famous Bailey Bear. Thank you very much, Lee. Uh, second question now. Uh, and for this, you will be winning a prize which I know we've got very popular uh, with a lot of caravanners. Absolutely. <laughs> it's some magnetic wine glasses and magnet. And what's more, they're also strong to be stored upside down. So if you're running out of space in your crockery cabinet, you can put the sticky coaster on the top and store them upside down. Very practical feature. Oh, absolutely. Very, very caravan friendly. The question is, last year, Lee and I went on a tour of our leading suppliers. Um, and we took a Pegasus and Kona caravan with us. How many suppliers did we visit on that tour of UK and Europe? Now, if you want a clue... Um, no, uh, no, we... no clues, no clues. No, ju just a sneaky one, because, I mean, this is wine glasses, and who doesn't want those? We visited the same company... It was the same company we visited twice, but they have two locations, one in the UK, one in Europe. That counts as two. So just a quick... Blue. I think you're making it a little bit easy for those people at home. OK, final question now, uh, and it is for the star prize, which is a Sonos portable speaker, which, as you remember comes a standard specification in all new Pegasus Grande GT75 models. Because it's a, a better quality price, uh, the, the question's a little bit tougher. Um, Pegasus was our first Alitec caravan range launched in 2009. How many variants of the Pegasus range have there been since then? And this, this would include standard width Pegasus and also eight foot wide Pegasus. So how many Pegasus ranges have there been in total? I've got no clue for that one. Good. So no assistance from... No. Okay. That's it for the quiz questions. We'll, we'll give you the answers at the end, but please start uh, replying to them uh, in the comments section below. Right. So I think we have interrupted the star of the show long enough, the Pegasus Grande BT75. I mean, everyone loves the game show interlude, but maybe not as much as this new model. So a lot of work has gone on inside. So let's have a look at an interior video. Thank you guys. Uh, you join us inside the all new Pegasus Grande GT75 Brindisi. Um, lots of interior changes and we're sat in the brand new L-shaped lounge. Um, can you tell me more about the change you've made across the range? I'll have a go, Lee. Good. I'll yeah, okay. A, I'll have a go. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Pegasus Grande eight foot wide body shelf, so the key is always space and comfort. Um, so we've looked at the four layouts um, in the range and we've decided with two of them we're going to put an L-shaped uh, front slab to really optimise the extra space um, afforded by the eight-foot wide body shell. So what you're sort of getting is sort of a domestic type configuration um, where you can sit around with the family and watch your TV in comfort in the evening. So it, it's more of a, say, so an arrangement you'll find at home. Um, the other two models in the range both have the, the parallel front seats, again, probably a bit more sort of practical in terms of, of dining uh, and conversion into a bed, although this one will convert into a full-size double as well, so we give them sort of people sort of two options in terms of the, the front lounge configuration. Yeah, and I suppose this, you, you can have a freestanding table here and you've got plenty of room, even if you've got occasional guests or you're travelling with a family of four. So you've still got loads of room here. Uh, and I think for me, this is where you can really feel this is an eight foot wide caravan. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a practical space as well as it was a comfortable one, so you can dine here. Yeah. Plenty of storage, um, both high down, low down. You've got the through boot through the front that's been retained from, from the previous models, which you'll access at the events. Lots of bulky items there. So, again, it's for people who use their caravans a lot, go away for extended periods and generally will take quite a bit of kit with them. So we want to make sure that not only we made it a comfortable space but a practical space in terms of lots of storage options from allow them to, to take their um, household belongings with them. Yeah and it's also quite tech heavy as well isn't it? I mean we, we've got the new media centre uh, as well as this lovely uh, TV area here. So what other uh, tech options have we got here that, that come as standard? 
Um, well, the media centre's new. I mean, we sort of looked at the way people consume their, their music now, and they sort of moved away, perhaps, from the, the traditional sort of car stereo type operation. Most people who um, stream music through their, their smartphones. So um, what we've done is in the media centre, first of all, we've got a, a, a contact contactless charging point um, where people can charge their smartphones and that has two USB points as well so um, everyone can charge their smartphones at the same time. Also got a portable Sonos speaker again Bluetooth speaker portable so you can either listen inside or outside and that has a dedicated storage housing within the media center as well. Now it's not just tech tech we've got in here there's lots of sockets and plugs and things to make it's the non-tech tech. Non-tech tech, non -tech, tech I think yeah, I think yeah. we'll we'll call this the non-tech section. Okay, yeah. uh, there's lots of other bits and pieces to make your holiday as comfortable as possible so what have you included in the Pegasus Ranger standard? Um, well Transferring over from the Prusys, there's plenty of 230 volt sockets, there's plenty of USB points throughout the vehicle. Um, we've got a new uh, Truma 100 watt solar panel, so a beefed up solar panel. It's a flexible panel, so it's lighter, more aerodynamic. Okay. Um, so people can go off grid. Um, as with all baby models, um, there's, uh, it's pre-wired for Wi-Fi, for the Avtec Wi-Fi system. We know a lot of people go to escape but at the same time still like to uh, stay connected, particularly the younger members of the family. So again, uh, the pre-wiring means that the Wi-Fi is a very simple option that your retailer can carry out for you. So the idea is that you, you can be fully powered up both, both inside and also outside. There's, there's a full range of external sockets on the offside of the yes. caravan to keep certain people happy. Yes. Um, but uh, yes, you've got 230 power sockets, you've got a barbecue point, etc. So I mean, there's a lot of um, useful features to make your holiday as relaxing and enjoyable as possible. I mean this feels very different to the previous Pegasus models, um, what has changed in here? Um, the design team has worked really hard on sort of creating a bit more contemporary feel, so you see a lot of cashmere finishes, so sort of breaking up the wood a little bit for more modern modern look. Um, you've got new uh, curved locker doors, uh, new worktops which are, I believe are light grey marble. Uh, new splashbacks, so again lots of sort of uh, different colour accents to complement the wood. Two soft furnishing schemes, uh, we have the, the standard Hatton scheme here, um, there's an optional Amersham scheme and that has the AquaClean fabrics, the very practical fabric which means you can clean up spills very easily, so perfect if you have children, pets or messy baby brand ambassadors in the caravan with you. Yeah, or me, because I mean, I, as you well know, I'm not the tidiest of people, so I think that would be a very worthy addition for, for a caravan for me personally. Right, so we're moving on to the kitchen. Uh, what changes have you made there? Very much tried and tested with the kitchen. It is a very practical space for us. So again, plenty of storage option, plenty of worktop space. The, the, the flap over the, the hob gives you um, additional space. And also there's the option to add the extension flap. Again, fitted by your okay. retailer, available through Prima Leisure. Um, in terms of kit, it's got Dometic fridge freezers. It's got the Thetford three burner hob with electrical hot plate. And of course, the yeah. non-twisty turny microwave microwave-free plate. One of them, uh, that, that, yes. one of them, yeah. one of them. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, quite yeah. often how they become. So yeah. basically that microwave, you haven't got to get the glass plate out and, and you haven't got to hide it in the, in the uh, between the cushions or put it in your handbook in the front chest. Correct, I believe okay. it's the future. I yes, it's absolutely, the future. Yeah. yeah. So we're moving from the kitchen into the bedroom, lots of changes in there. I mean, it's got, to me, it feels a much more luxurious feel and with that end washroom, you sort of almost has that ensuite finish. So. How has the design process and use influenced that area? With this range, all four models feature island beds, which, as you know, are very much on vogue at the moment yes. you know, with, with, with the British caravanning public. So we very much focused on the bedrooms and tried to make them as, as, as comfortable as possible. That's why all models have a king-size bed as a standard specification, which um, has proved very popular with the Alicante range that we launched late last year. So we've transferred that across to, to the Pegasus Grande range. So you really do have the, the ultimate in caravanning comfort um, and the guarantee of a, a good night's sleep with, with, with a huge bed. But because you've got the eight wide body shell there's still plenty of space in the bedroom either down the sides or at the foot of the foot of the bed so it, it's a comfortable space but again it's a very practical space yeah I mean as you say you can really feel it this has got a transverse island bed in this Brindisi and you can really feel that additional width across the caravan even when the beds pull down it does make as you say that that enormous sleeping space and then to complement the washrooms uh, ensuite bathrooms again either in the center or at the end depending on the layout again all feature large shower cubicles um, so again practical space plenty of changing room area 
as well. So again, as with all eight foot wide baby models, you really do have the, the ultimate blend of, of style, space and comfort. Now, one thing I have noticed, especially as my kids are getting that much older, is the ability here to sort of uh, section off areas of the caravan or leave it open for sort of that increased living space. So what has gone into that process? I mean, it's obviously it's very important to try and separate yourself as much as possible from your family when you're away. Absolutely. But the nice, nice thing is, yeah. uh, uh, with with the Pegasus Grande models, the, the partitions either folding constantly doors or solid partitions. So they just section off, to zone off various parts of the caravan. So it makes it really sort of a practical um, layout, either either for couples if you're on your own, you sort of more open plan feel. But if you've got families, you can have dedicated booths where everyone can enjoy their own personal space. So with all this talk of style and luxury, let's go back to the studio to two people who are sadly lacking in both areas. There's absolutely no doubt that Leah and I are very much style-free zones, but in complete contrast, I'd like to introduce Mr. Nick East, Customer Service Advisor for Prima, and he's here to tell us about the fantastic new Prima accessories which will complement the Pegasus GT Grande 75 models. Welcome, Nick. Thank you for having me, Simon. Um, but before we chat, I think obviously the best way to get an idea of the, the fantastic products you have on offer is to watch them actually being used by, by Mr. Davey. So let's run a short VT and we'll chat afterwards. If, like me, you're not a huge fan of cleaning the caravan roof, then Prima Leisure can offer you this tailor-made cover for your Bailey model. Now these are UK made, made by specialised covers, so they are going to be of a really good quality. Now it's lightweight and easy to use, and it slides through the awning channels. We fitted this one this morning, we simply fitted it at the back, uh, both awning rails at the same time, and then pulled it forward. Now this is a waterproof cover, but importantly, it's breathable too, and it has a soft backing, which means it won't scratch your caravan. Now this is designed to protect your investment from the likes of uh, tree sap, bird mess or just generally getting mouldy. And also if you've ever tried to clean the roof and you've tried to get in around the roof lights, you know what a task that is. This should eliminate that. There are also fasteners to the front and rear to make sure it stays in place. And importantly, because it covers the front, the back and the roof, you can still access your locker doors, or your habitation door, your fridge vents and that sort of thing. So you can still get in and out of your caravan prepare it for the holiday before you go away. Now I must stress this is not designed for towing, so it must be removed before you go on holiday, but it will certainly protect the front, the rear, and the top. Cart has been manufacturing heavy duty jockey wheels for a number of years now, and this is their latest incarnation. Now you still get the corrosion resistant plating and you still get the nylon uh, bearings in the wheel. Now the changes on this one are specific to this wheel. This is called the Super Wheel. It basically has a lower profile rubber tire, which is great if you're using a motor mover because you get less torque on the tire as you're turning corners. Now importantly, should something happen to this tire, they are available separately to buy and you won't have to buy the whole unit. Now fitting is easy. All you do on this particular model is um, undo this, hinge it out, take off your old jockey wheel and simply installation is the reverse that procedure. Would you like more worktop space in your caravan? Well, from Prima Leisure, you can buy this worktop extension piece. It's 41 centimetres long, 37 centimetres wide, and the kit includes all the fixtures and fittings. And then when not in use, it simply folds flat against the kitchen unit. This bespoke kitchen pack is available for all Bailey caravans and motorhomes that have a round sink. It comprises of a draining board, a chopping board, as well as this round plastic bowl. Now importantly, these stack together, which makes them easy to store and to transport. This is the Tow Pro Extra Cover. Now this is designed to protect your caravan whilst it's on the move from dirt, dust, scratches and stone chips. It's made in the UK by Specialized Covers and is model specific and it will give you that bespoke custom fit whichever caravan you have. And importantly, it also comes with the Bailey logo. 
Now it simply slides into the awning rail and then it zips up. I mean, fitting it really is easy and takes just a couple of minutes. The quick fit clip system allows you to attach it to the bottom of the caravan and you get a strap that passes under the A-frame as well to make it secure. Now importantly, it also has cutouts for the lights so that your lights can be visible whilst you're towing. And also the back of the cover is non-abrasive, which means it will protect your windows as well as your bodywork. I'm sure most of us enjoy the escapism of a caravan or motorhome holiday, but sometimes it's nice just to have some Wi-Fi. Um, if you've got younger members, whether you're even working from the caravan, or sometimes if the weather's less than ideal, you can stream a film whilst in your caravan or motorhome. Now, normally you wouldn't see one of these units because these live on the roof. Now, I've had one of these fitted to my own caravan for about 18 months now, and it performs incredibly well. I'm not just saying that, I've tried it against my phone and I've hotspotted that. The performance of this is really good. And as of yet, touch wood, it's yet to be beaten. Now this roof mounted unit needs to be fitted by your friendly local retailer to make sure that your water ingress warranty remains intact. If you'd like the convenience of a sun canopy but don't want to erect a full awning, the Tule Omnistore could be a great option for you. Now this is a wind out canopy and it extends two and a half meters out, which is the perfect size for your pitch. Now, in addition to that, there's also the sun and rain panel pack, or if you'd like to turn it into a full awning, there's also the panorama room. Now this is available from primaleisure.com and it can be fitted by your retailer, thanks to these being pre-drilled for the too late on this stop. So Lee in full QVC mode there, and, and so much to talk about, but I, guess, I suppose Nick, of those accessories, which is the most popular? So the most popular of all that would probably be the kitchen pack and the uh, kitchen workshop extension flap, the most functional and practical addition to your caravan, especially the Pegasus Grand GT75 range. Sure, the neat bits to get, I mean, the kitchen worktop extension flat, I imagine, increases the service area by about a third, so yeah. it's extra preparation space, or you can stick a kettle on it, or a, a toaster, something like that, so that is a really, really functional. And not just available on the Pegasus Grande GT75? No, they're available on the Phoenix GT75 as well, and they match uh, the worktop lovely. And also, the, the towing cover that we saw, um, we used on both the caravans, where each of them was fitted with um, a front towing cover. And it's just nice to have one that is tailored for that caravan. Now, I've used Universal Fit products before. Yes, they fit after a fashion, but it's nice to have one that just pulls through the, the, the rails. You zip it up, it's got the perfect tension for, for the whichever width of caravan you're buying. And also, importantly, the clips as well, that they just find... Uh, the locating points that they need to find. So, uh, I mean, I guess from your point of view, it's probably a, a good accessory for caravanners to have. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, Prima and Bailey work together nicely um, so that we can tailor make up uh, these accessories and products for all of our caravan ranges and motor ranges as well. Nice to see you've got some new taller covers as well. Yeah, absolutely, which go over the top of the windows to protect protect your windows which is great for when you turn it down the motorway, protects it from dirt and anything. Yeah, absolutely. Because when we were turning through the Atlas Mountains, it, I mean, conditions were quite hard as well at times. And, and it's just nice with, with all, you know, very stony and, and um, you know, conditions were tough. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to know that the front of the car, and not only the bodywork, but the windows as well, it is protected with the cover. It certainly coped with everything Morocco could throw at it. Absolutely. And, and to be fair, it did its best, didn't it? Indeed, indeed. But the star of the show has to be the new Omni store pull out sun canopy. I mean, that, that's really unusual to see something like that on a caravan. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, typically it's fitted to the most hedge, right. but Bailey have worked very hard to bring this to the caravans as well, which is what customers have wanted for a long time. Um, and it's an easy, easy retailer fit as there's already pre drilled holes across the top. I suppose that's one of the benefits of Bailey and Prima sort of working together. We mm. can tailor our products to suit your accessories, which means it's an easier fit for, for the retailers. It's simpler, so they're more, more affordable uh, and likely to have a greater uptake. But it's, it's offering perhaps Caravan as something that they wouldn't have had an option on before. Absolutely. And we just want to bring these options to, to the Caravans as well, so that Caravans and motor owners can enjoy the same accessories that we offer. And I'm guessing sort of different length awnings for different length yeah. caravans. So again, it's a way available on all, all Bailey models. Yeah, all Bailey models and each length is specific to the different models. Um, and you can contact Prima Leisure to find out which, which model is available for your vehicle.
Nick, that's fascinating. Uh, a, a cracking bit of kit, particularly mm. that, that that sun canopy. It takes away the hassle of putting up a, a full awning. So again, if you're away for a weekend or something like that, or a short short stopover, you you've got that extra space um, to store shoes, pets, etc. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a big sun canopy fan. It's um, I. I Personally, I much prefer putting up a sun canopy than a full awning because, you know, we, we tend to sort of dot-to-dot -dot sites traveling as, as we go. Um, traditionally, I've always used one that threads through the awning rail. You know, it's normally buried under a seat. You've got to get it up, thread it, get someone to hold it. But with, with the on store, just wind it out. So, yeah, I, I think that will be really beneficial. Thanks for talking to us. Just a reminder, if people want to find out more about these uh, fabulous accessories, where should they go? Uh, they can contact us directly at primaleisure.com or they can talk to their retailer when they place their uh, caravan order. Thanks very much. And now it's time to look at the stars of the show, the new Pegasus Grande GT75 range. Now, we have filmed individual walkthrough videos for each model. Let's start with the new kid on the block, uh, the single-axle, eight-foot-wide Pegasus Grande GT75 Portofino. Centre washroom, Longitudinal rear island bed, it's the best sailing layout in virtually every range we make, so therefore the natural choice uh, to add to the new GT75 range. Let's have a look at the walkthrough. Thank you guys, uh, welcome to the new Portofino. Now this layout is based upon the award-winning Messina, but it's a single axle version. Now the interior is split into three distinct sections, but come inside and have a look. Now, plenty of room for lounging here, and it has two modes, day mode and night mode. Currently configured in day mode, but in night mode, you have a center section that pulls out, and this either makes up into a huge double bed, or you could have younger family members using these as single beds. The GT75 has a new cashmere color scheme, as well as this warm gray marble and splashback on the kitchen surface. To the right of the kitchen is the Thetford uh, hob, grill and oven. There's also a microwave above. Now, if you need that additional workspace, you have this handy area opposite the kitchen. Now, this also doubles as somewhere to watch TV from whilst you're in the lounge. TV points are here. This is where the tech center in this Pegasus lives. And you also have wireless charging for your phone, separate USB points in this unit, and there are more USBs around the caravan in the lights. We move to the middle for the mid washroom. Now this has a separate shower compartment and opposite is the loo and the basin. The bedroom in the Portofino is at the end of the caravan and has two modes, day mode and night mode. It's currently configured in day mode, which means the bed is pushed back, which gives you plenty of room at the foot of the bed to walk around. In night mode, it simply pulls out and gives you much more sleeping space. There is a hecky roof light above the bed for you stargazers. And if you'd like to shut off the bedroom from the rest of the caravan, there is a wooden sliding door. Now the storage continues here as well because not only is there plenty of room under the bed, which you can access by lifting the bed up, there are external lockers either side which run the full length of this Portofino. The GT75 has a new high security door. Now this door also has the facility to split as a stable door, but it also has the all important additional security measures. So in summary, the new Portofino is a four berth caravan that is great for a couple's van, thanks to that longitudinal island bed. Now its layout is based upon the award-winning Messina, but it's a single axle version, and that weight also means it can be towed with a wide variety of tow cars. So let's go back to the studio to two people who would undoubtedly benefit from holidaying in a wider caravan. Will you speak for yourself, Mr. Davey? Um, the good news is we've managed to prise him in through the new entrance door inside the Portofino, and he's in the front of the caravan now. He's gonna be talking to Claire from the advanced product design team about the special features of this exciting new layout. Well, come inside and take a look. As Simon said, this layout's worked incredibly well on the Unicorn and the Phoenix models because it is split into three distinct sections. Bedroom at the back, washroom in the middle, and a lounge towards the front. Now I'm joined with Claire, um, who's a member of the Bailey Advanced Design Team. Now Claire, could you take us through, as I said, we're in a caravan that's designed into three sections. Can you take us through the design process uh, from the lounge and the kitchen? 
So in the lounge, obviously we're sat here now, but you could fit plenty more of your friends and family for when they're entertaining. Um, we've added nice soft touches that for extra comfort. So we've got these lovely bulkhead cushions here, some nice soft touches with the walls as well, as well as some bolster cushions here. Kitchen is great for cooking your Sunday roast in if you need to. We've got the electric hot plate, um, obviously, as we know, and then the media station located on the fridge unit as well, catering for, for your technology, the Sonos speaker and the wireless charger. And and from the kitchen, we then go into the washroom. We, as it's got an eight foot wide body shell, what has that allowed you to do in the washroom area? So we've added in our dual closing door, which means that we can have the door in two positions, closing off the toilet space when you don't need it during the day. But when you want to use your shower, your toilet, your sink, you've got more space, more area to move around as well. And I, I guess that the, the, the biggest feature of all about this right has to be that end bedroom. That is what everyone's going to love. Now, for me, I guess the eight foot wide body shell gives you more room around the side of the bed. But I, I guess, you know, there, there's a lot more gone into the design process. Yeah, we've maximised the comfort. So we've included a king size bed. So perfect home away from home. Most people have king size beds in at home now. And then we've got the three boot, which is great for putting your deck chairs or your barbecues, really maximising that under bed storage as well as the comfort factor for sleeping. Claire, thanks again for taking us through the design process on the Pegasus GT75. But now it's time to look at another layer. And this time we're going to the Brindisi that also has a brand new for this year lounge. Hi guys, and welcome to the Brindisi. Unusually uh, for an eight foot wide caravan, it's also a single axle, which means it's not only very spacious, but also incredibly light. The MPTLM of this vehicle, just over 1500 kg, so accessible to a wide range of tow vehicle owners and vehicle license holders. But come on inside and let me show you around. The Brindisi is a four berth transverse island bed end washroom layout. And typically it's one of the layouts that really benefits from that extra width provided by the eight foot wide shell, giving you more room around the bottom bed. But more of that in a minute, because at the front, you can also see oodles of space, thanks to this super comfy uh, L-shaped front lounge. Very much a, a domestic configuration. You can sit here in complete comfort with the family and watch a large screen TV on the opposite wall. Moving through into the centre of the caravan, you've got a very practical uh, kitchen. It has everything you can possibly need. It's got the, the dual full fuel Thetford hob, uh, a flatbed microwave, Dometic fridge freezer. And on the offside, you've got the all new media centre, uh, standard specification on all Pegasus Grande GT75 models, which includes the, the Bluetooth Sonos speaker, the standard specification. You've got the wireless charger for, for your smartphone devices. And also, you've got a nice space here to uh, plonk your TV should you want to. Moving backwards further still into really what is the, the key selling point of this layout is, is the luxury bedroom. Transverse end bed, as you can see here, oodles of space at the, uh, the foot of the bed to allow you to walk around during the day. But yet, this is a king size bed, so an enormous bed. Um, the biggest on the market um, and will guarantee you a good night's sleep uh, in your caravan. Plenty of storage as well, practical wardrobes either side and above and underneath the bed as well where you have exterior access so it allows you to pull your sort of bulky items underneath the bed as well. So plenty of space, plenty of comfort here. And this beautiful uh, bedroom is complemented by a very spacious ensuite transverse uh, end bathroom. Large shower cubicle, plenty of spool place for changing, uh, a very smart new Belfast sink with complimentary splashback, uh, and plenty of storage options for all your toiletries. So there you have it, the uh, Pegasus Grande uh, GT75 Brindisi, a, a very spacious and very luxurious caravan, but also a very practical caravan. Oodles of storage throughout the vehicle, not least of which is the magnificent through boot under this seat, accessible from either ends and runs the full width of the caravan, big enough in fact, to accommodate a British standard Bailey brand ambassador. And with that, it's back to the studio. So you'll be pleased to see uh, we managed to prise Lee out of that through, but it took some doing, um, several days without cooking breakfast, but he is back. Uh, didn't do me any harm, to be fair. No. I'm delighted to say we were finally joined by some professionals on set uh, this afternoon. Uh, we welcome Di Moody, who's customer service advisor at Prima Leisure and she brings with her Willow and Bramble. That's right, yeah. And you may recognise these guys because they are the stars of the current 
baby caravan brochure. Uh, yep. and they feature on the P- Pegasus Grande SE race. SE photos. Yep. I mean, it's nice to be amongst stars, not only you, but the dogs <laughs> as well. Um, now, dogs play a huge part in caravan, yep. as, as we all know. Mm. I believe with Bailey owners, it's around 50% of Bailey owners go caravanning with their dogs. That's correct, yeah. And in the Pegasus range, which we're going to discuss today, I believe it's 65%. Yep. Um, so, I mean, we're just here to talk about dogs. I, I don't know how I've landed this section, but I, I'm glad I have because, you know, we go away with our dog as well. And, and obviously you do with Bramble and Willow. So yep. what tips have you got for caravanning with dogs? Um, I always think it's their holiday as well as ours. So as, as relaxed and as happy as they are in the caravan, then that makes your life easier, happier and more relaxed. And especially with the Pegasus ground date range, because it's that bitch bigger, especially if you've got large dogs like these. And it just gives you that extra space to move around and sort of everybody's a lot more comfortable. Yeah, you mentioned earlier when we were talking that I, which dogs it likes to sleep under the bed when you make up the front double. Yeah. Okay. So the eight for why, because we've got an American Bulldog. Mm-hmm. We did have a Jack Russell. He yep. certainly passed away. But, I mean, he was so small, you could almost open up the cupboards in the kitchen and he could almost sleep in there. Yeah. But we've now gone to a dog similar size to yours. Mm-hmm. And I'm just guessing, with that Pegasus range, if you pulled out the front bed and they still want to sleep underneath... There'd be tons of room, not only for the dog, but for a dog bed as well. Yes, yeah. So you can put the dog bed down uh, and they can just snuggle up down into their, their own little space and they're more than happy. Um, I, I suppose also in the kitchen as well. If you're in there, I don't know, making a cup of tea, mm-hmm. making something for dinner, um, plenty of room for the dog to walk past. Yeah. Because um, we tend to keep our dog bowls and water bowls in the shower, which on the 650 we've got the is towards the back of the caravan. So mm. if we had an eight foot wide, plenty of room for the dogs to pass. Um, and you've also got some lovely goodies with you today. Yeah, so one of the things, the tips I use when I'm in the, in the caravan, especially as a rainy day, we're all snuggled up, is snuffle mats. Now, they're widely range, uh, available, um, and you just hide treats into them. So you can do it as part of the game with the dogs. Um, you can hide throughout the caravan, but also in the snuffle mats. Keeps them occupied for hours. Okay. So, um, and they really, really enjoy doing something like that. Well, do they do an adult version? You could possibly put more teas there. I'm, I'm just asking for a friend. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we could get that arranged too. <laughs> uh, and you mentioned rainy days as well. I mean, I, I guess with the Pegasus range as well being that much wider, um, you could possibly see why 65% of, of, of Pegasus owners go caravanning with dogs. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's so much easier. You come in. If you use something like the drying coat, which we've got, it helps. But I notice on this range, you've got the new upholstery, which is, is sort of white clean, etc. And that is going to be a godsend to a lot of caravan owners. Because currently, I put uh, thrones down. And then, if it is a rainy day, I put a towel on top just to soak up any extra excess moisture. Yeah, yeah. So, Yeah, I couldn't agree more about the aqua cleaner. I've yet to try it. But um, I think in a nutshell, if you've got a spillage, whether it's a um, muddy dog or something mm-hmm. your children have spilled, you can just yeah. clean it up with uh, just water and a cloth. That's right, yeah. 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 So it's very easy to clean, uh, quick and simple. And it, as I said, it's going to be a godsend for people with small children, big children and dogs and cats. <laughs> Perfect. So as we touched on earlier, the dogs enjoy the holiday as much as the owners. I mean, are there any considerations when booking a site? Um, we always tend to look for sites that specifically cater for dogs so the dog friendly sites both of the, the two big um, organizations on their websites you've got special emblems that identify whether they're a dog friendly uh, but more importantly they also show if they've got a dog walk on site because we find that as an extra bonus because you then don't have to put the dog in the car take them off site to walk them and what have you so as i said if you want that quick 10 minute walk then it's handy to have somebody actually on site. So um, it's one of the things we always tend to look at, especially with the two, uh, two big organisations. Uh, Di, thank you very much. No problem. And thank you to Bramble and Willow. I mean, I wish my dog was as well behaved as those two. <laughs> and your co-presenter probably as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I think, uh, I think. can we replace Simon with, with these two? By all means. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's great. Uh, we're now going to move on and look at the next video walkthrough, and that's the Pegasus Grande GT75 Messina. It's the first of our twin axles. It has a centre washroom 
and a longitudinal island bed. So an extremely luxurious newish layout for two people, but also because it has that degree of separation can be used by families as well. So let's have a look around. Thanks guys and welcome to the new Pegasus Grande GT75 from Messina. Now this is a twin axle caravan that's eight foot wide and you can really feel the extra width and length while you're in here. It has a shipping length of just under eight meters and an MTPLM of just over 1700 kilos, which means you can tow it with something like a Land Rover Discovery. The interior layout is split into three distinct sections. We have the bedroom to the rear, a mid washroom and a large lounge and kitchen to the front. But step inside and let me show you around. Now this lounge has two modes, day mode and night mode. It's currently in day mode for seating. And in night mode, this converts into a very generous double bed. Or if you're traveling with two smaller children, these can be used as single beds because they are six foot two long. Now, before we move on, let's just talk about the technology center, which in this Messina is by the door. Now there's a freestanding Sonos speaker, there's also a wireless charging point for your phone. This caravan also comes with Truma's tried and tested heating and hot water system, and it is pre-wired for Wi-Fi. Now this TV points to the lounge, to the bedroom, and also if you like watching TV in the awning, there's also a TV point outside. The kitchen cupboards are finished in cashmere, and there's a warm gray marble effect to the splashback and to the worktop. Now talking of worktop, this gives you lots of working space here with this flap down, but if you want to use the hob, you simply lift the covers and there you have three burner gas hob with an electric element as well. This is a dual fuel hob. Now opposite the kitchen is a 153 litre fridge freezer with a separate freezer compartment above and lots of storage for your groceries below. So we then move into the washroom. It has a very large separate shower. And inside this door here is the loo and it also has the basin, which is a Belfast style sink. The bedroom is at the end of the caravan and has two modes, day mode and night mode. It's currently configured in day mode, which means the bed is pushed back, which gives you plenty of room at the foot of the bed to walk around. In night mode, it simply pulls out and gives you much more sleeping space. Now the storage continues here as well, because not only is there plenty of room under the bed, which you can access by lifting the bed up, there are external lockers either side, which run the full length. The GT75 has a new high security door. Now this door also has the facility to split as a stable door, but it also has the all important additional security measures. So a short conclusion, this is an eight foot wide twin axle caravan that is split into three distinct sections. And thanks to those three distinct sections, even if I shared this caravan with Simon and he was in one end and I was in the other, I probably wouldn't be able to hear him snore. And with that in mind, let's go back to the studio. So Chloe, I mean, inside the new Bologna, one word to describe it, palatial. Um, how have you gone about achieving this? I would say this layout really pushes the boundaries of how you design a traditional caravan. I mean, even the front area here, as you can see, the L-shaped lounge gives you a great amount of comfort and space. And the TV, TV unit there gives you a, um, enough space to put a 32 inch TV. It's a very sort of domestic feel, sort of oh, like the sort of L-shaped sofas you get at yeah, home. Yeah, it's just like being at home. And that's what we wanted to give our customers. So as you come through then to the bedroom, we wanted to give a bit of a contemporary twist on our transverse bed layout. So as you can see here with the bedside tables, it's nice and open, feeling really like a boutique hotel. That's what we wanted to give our customers. And then my favorite part of all, lots of mirrors. And just to add to the boutique feel, we've got a ensuite style bad bedroom setup, giving you a great amount of storage in the rope here and somewhere great to do your makeup. Absolutely <laughs> ideal for you yourself. Huh? So it, it is it's enormous. It's a fantastic old suite, but it's a, it really has a sort of luxury feel. It's, it's really sort of pushing the boundaries in terms of caravanning comfort. I think you've done a truly wonderful job, and this is going to be very, very popular with, I think, couples wanting the, the ultimate in, in caravanning comfort. Definitely. It gives you everything you need, as you said, boutique style with the perfect TV setup in the front. So that's the Bologna. And let's go and have a look. Thanks, guys, and welcome to the Bologna. Uh, a twin axle model, eight foot wide, and yet just over 1700 kgs. So again, still accessible as a tourer, as well as uh, potential use as a sighted van. But come on in and let's have a look around.
So the Bologna, similar to the Brindisi you saw earlier, is a four berth transverse uh, island bed with end washroom. But as it's a twin axle, it's even bigger. Similar domestic style L-shaped front lounge to the domestic configuration, but even longer. Six foot long bed, so ideal for day lounging. But don't worry, fortunately, this is the optional Amersham upholstery, which has the AquaClean fabric, which means it's easy to wipe down uh, any potential stains. The front lounge is beautifully showcased by the signature Bailey picture window by day. And by night, plenty of lighting options with USB connection points and a TV bracket as standard on which you can mount a large screen TV so you can all sit around as a family of five, potentially six, in this lounge and watch your favourite programmes. Moving amidships, again you've got the kitchen in the, uh, the centre of the van, plenty of worktop and storage space and all the kit. Probably the key difference between this and the Brindisi is the fridge, 153 litre FETF refrigerator with separate freezer compartments. So, oodles of space for all your food and drink for even the, the longest holidays. And by the door you've got the media centre with all the standard high-tech kit. Moving farther back into the caravan we have this fantastic uh, bedroom with uh, ensuite uh, end washroom. Important to remember before I step in that you can close this area off so it can be totally sectioned so you have fantastic privacy and you can divide up the front and the rear of the caravan which makes it suitable for families as well as couples. Stepping into the bedroom, the first thing you really notice is, is the filling of space. It feels absolutely huge in here. And that's been achieved by moving the wardrobes, which traditionally set either side of the island bed, and putting them in the corner. And what you have now is two low level cabinets, very similar to those you'd find at home. So a very sort of common domestic arrangement. And that really opens up the space inside the bedroom. And surprisingly, looking at the bedroom, this, this is actually a king-size bed, but it looks really, really small inside a space this large. And behind the sliding door is an absolutely huge ensuite washroom. As you can see, plenty of floor, floor space, so plenty of drying area, uh, an enormous shower cubicle in the corner, um, your Fetford loo and plenty of different storage options for all your toiletries. Not only is this a, a very luxurious caravan, it's a very, very practical caravan and there's a huge amount of storage space for you to take all your belongings away, whether you're spending time on a seasonal pitch or whether you're going long distance touring for an extended period of time. At the front under the seats, you've got the full width through boot with access from, from either end for bulky items. Plenty of storage at high level underneath the kitchen. In the bedroom, it's the same story. Huge vanity unit with a, with a TV point there, overhead lockers uh, above the bed, and also a full height uh, wardrobe uh, with full length mirror. And if that wasn't enough, one of the advantages of having a transverse island bed is not only do you get plenty of storage underneath, but you can access it from the outside of the caravan through an exterior door. And the space underneath is enormous. So enormous, in fact, that it will even accommodate a British standard Bailey brand ambassador. And with that, it's back to the studio. I mean, talk about monsters under the bed. I mean, that man just gets everything. Yeah, I mean, there's no scary monster than that under your bed. No one wants that. Now, we've just had uh, a few comments in at the moment asking where they can see Pegasus Grande GT75. It's a good point. Uh, they will debut at the Harrogate Show, which is at the uh, North Yorkshire Showground, and that will be mid-September. And then these four models will start rolling out onto retailer full court shortly afterwards. And of course, we'll have the, the full range of Pegasus Grande on display at the NEC show in October. Right, Simon, I think we're drawing to a close on this live long. So the important business is the answers to the questions. Yes, let's. <laughs> OK, here we are. The quiz question answers. I know you've been waiting for them. Question number one. The make and model of the car that was put on the roof of the first Pegasus caravan what was a Ford Bondeo. Mm -hmm. Question number two. The number of suppliers that Lee and I visited on our suppliers tour last year. Uh, the answer was seven. As Lee alluded to, we visited two depots at Thetford, one in the UK and one in Europe, but it was seven suppliers in total. And question number three, how many variants of the Pegasus range have there been since its original launch in 2009? The answer is eight. Thank you, Simon. Uh, now, just a reminder that um, full details, if you've missed anything, will be released on the Bailey website from lunchtime tomorrow. And that can be found at baileyofbristol.co.uk.
Finally, it just remains to say thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We had a bit of fun with us too. And I hope you enjoy your times out and about in your caravans for the remainder of the summer. In the meantime, it's good night from me. And of course, good night from him.